Hi Queens, welcome back. So here it is as promised, my pescatarian lifestyle update. So this was the first day, it was on a Sunday and I just started off with some whole wheat bread that I picked up from the fresh market. It was very, very good, very, very much so fresh. And I'm just simply going to toast it. On um, this particular day, I just decided that I wanted some toast um, along with some avocado and some tomatoes on top. So here I just have some tomato medley that I picked up from the Fresh Market. If you guys would be interested in like a grocery haul, so like when I go to the store and I pick up certain items for the week, if you would be interested in a video like that, just comment down below and I can definitely share that with you guys. It will be very short, simple, and to the point. So here I'm just simply cutting up my tomatoes. And I love these tomato medleys and I actually love the yellow ones a lot more than the red ones. So now I'm cutting my avocado. You guys, I love avocado. I actually first, I didn't like it when I first started eating sushi years ago. And then when I um, actually ate it as guacamole dip, then I fell in love with it. So I just love avocado. It's really good for your hair. You know, if you're natural, your skin, I mean everything. It is very high in, you know, in healthy fats. So that's really good as well. So that's all I'm simply doing here, you guys. Um, just a little reason as to why I guess on the pescatarian and not even a reason why but you guys I never really realized that I was a pescatarian and um, you guys will see me talk a little bit more in the video here about that but now I'm just simply putting the tomatoes on top and then I then decided that I want to actually do an egg and so you guys will see me do that as well and voila this is my breakfast and then I actually did do a post egg you guys this is my first attempt so let me just explain to you guys how you can actually get your own poached egg. First you want to bring the water to a boil with some vinegar. Once boiling, stir clockwise and then drop the egg in the actual swirl pool. Continue to swirl, stir the water so that way the egg white can surround the egg yolk. And then it will be done after three to four minutes of actually cooking in the water. And then you have a perfectly poached egg and then just take it out put it on a piece of like paper towel to strain the water off and then you can actually put it on top of like your toast or on like a muffin whatever you prefer but as you guys can see i had mine on top of a wheat toast <laughs> so it was pretty good good morning you guys so i am having a ginger tea um i picked this up from the um, Vietnamese stores the market and it's really good if you're wondering where I got this cup from I got it from Walmart um, I think I paid three or five dollars for it but it's a really sturdy cup it's very heavy but um yeah so right now I'm having ginger tea and then in a little while I'll have some wheat toast with some avocado and tomatoes so I'll actually show you guys that in a little bit You're probably like, what the fuck? Yeah, my hair's in twists right now. But I wanted to share with you guys, we are cooking quinoa. Quin What's it called? Quinoa? I thought she was calling quinoa. I thought it was quinoa. I don't know. Is it quinoa or, quin oh, or quinoa? Oh, wait, YouTube. let's do Google. Oh, wait, YouTube? YouTube. Okay. Quinoa. 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 Okay, so we are trying out quinoa for the first time tonight. This is from the Burian Near East. And this is the quinoa blend. A blend of quinoa and brown rice. This is the roasted red pepper and basil um, flavor. And yes, yeah, so we already have it here in the pot. And my phone died when I actually was going to try to put this on Instagram. So it looks good. This looks like red tomato, red, red roasted peppers with the basil. That's what it looks like. So yeah, you guys, so um, today is May 15th, and so on Instagram, I announced that, you know, well, it wasn't like an announcement, but I just wanted to share with you guys that I'm going on a pescatarian diet journey. 
Um, now I know before in the past when I first started my channel, I initially did do like a weight loss or anything, but this isn't what this is geared towards. I mean, weight loss will be in there some way, shape, or form because again, this is a health diet change. So of course, it's going to be some weight loss along the way. So, um, the whole reason why I went on this is because, um, frankly, you guys, I really do not eat a lot of red meat, and so it was just, like, perfect, and once I finally started reading up on it, I was just like, okay, this is pretty much the same <laughs> diet that I pretty much eat regularly, because you guys notice that I really do not eat a lot of red meat, like, I like seafood, I love seafood, and I love vegetables as well. Like now, I really do like vegetables, and we get a lot of fresh produce from the actual fresh produce market. And so we also shop at the fresh market as well, if you guys don't know, that is an actual grocery store. And so we shop at both of those places. I like to shop there. We shop there actually regularly. We do go to Walmart as well, but primarily I prefer to go to either a seafood market, which is um, Joe Patty's, which is here downtown. Um... I get the fresh seafood <laughs> and then also too I like to go to the fresh produce market it's on Davis and they have everything we go weekly and um lately I've been probably going about two times a week and I mean it's very inexpensive too you guys vegetables are very good for you as well they're very good for your skin I mean just health benefits all that kind of stuff and so yeah so i figured that doing this would be perfect because then now i can monitor too like the i could really really monitor how much vegetables i was actually intaking so i've been kind of like doing that you know trying to like see like actually like what my options were and like you know with liking raw well with liking seafood i like raw sushi but you also have to be careful about that i know some of you guys were actually telling me on instagram you know and i do thank you you know, I'm being careful, you know, about, you know, the seafood intake, you know, make sure you don't eat a lot of foods that are high in mercury, you know, and also to just making sure that, you know, you get your proteins as well as also making sure that, you know, your blood count and everything is good because if you don't know, for people who eat red meat for a very long period of time, you know, that's naturally your source of actually getting iron for your blood. So when you switch diets and then you start to decrease the natural foods that you were already eating before that were providing you those nutrients, you know, you begin to become deficient in that specific nutrient. So you can become iron deficient on certain diets. So you have to be careful about this. So I do thank you guys on that. So yeah, so pretty much with the pescatarian diet, I mean, it's really nothing like big. You just pretty much eliminate like red meat. Some people still do eat some occasionally, but really you don't eat red meat turkey or chicken it's just pretty much fruits vegetables and seafood so i mean yeah some people still do dairy it all depends like me pretty much i have to be careful with dairy because dairy me and dairy we got this weird relationship i love it it hates me so we we make it work <laughs> but for the most part like this this lifestyle change per se is just really so i can just focus really what i'm putting into my body because if you guys also know if you're following me on instagram that i also too tried a new women's wellness blend tea and i really did like that tea and i noticed like a few days after i had ran out of the actual tea blend and wasn't taking it my body started acting so weird like i started have being really gassy and being really bloaty and also too kind of feeling like tired and sluggish so like i noticed too that like um i did like the tea infusions it's not like anything different from teas that we already drink here in our house it's just a stronger blend and it's not like strong as like bitter because i know her parasite cleanse is definitely bitter because all the ingredients that she lists she actually you know these are actually organic <laughs> herbs that she actually gets so that's why the process takes like almost two weeks for you to actually receive it but it's well worth the wait i really did enjoy it i really did see results I didn't have any negative side effects. It actually helped clear up my skin as well. What's talking about? The wellness blend. Oh, tell yeah. Yeah. It helped my period. Yep. So y'all like for real. So I just kind of wanted to jump on here and just kind of explain, cause like y'all are gonna kind of see clips from Instagram of me eating throughout the day, and then I'm also gonna insert clips, you know, like when I'm out and about or here. <laughs> If y'all can see what she's doing right now. No. Oh gosh, but uh, stop, 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 stop. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much all that we're doing. So tonight for me, 
I'm just gonna have some quinoa, um, some sauteed um, kale, and I'm probably gonna have like another vegetable or something like that. I'm not really hungry, honestly, because at lunch I had some couscous and then I had um, some seared tuna. And then so Les is gonna have some tuna tonight. I didn't want any more seafood. I figured that was like enough for the day. All right, you guys, so this is Alexa's plate. This is some seared tuna. We have our quinoa, or quinoa. And then we also have some sauteed kale with some um, Melody tomatoes with garlic and um, onions, and also some seasoning. And the seasoning, um, I have to show you guys what the seasoning is, but yeah, so this is her plate. And it looks delicious. All right, you guys, so this is the season that I've been using. This is the seed-free, all-purpose, engaged, organics, pure spices, salt-free blends. I picked this up at, um, actually, TJ Maxx. And how much did I pay for this? I paid $3.99 compared to $5. So, I mean, it's really good. It is salt-free. It has everything in here. What does it contain? Um, it contains onions, spices including paprika, garlic, lemon peel, celery, and red pepper. And I love that. And I love a blend like this, an all-purpose blend. Because you can use it for anything. But here's my dinner for the night. Um, I got my quinoa. And then I got my sauteed kale. With, of course, the tomatoes, medley tomatoes with garlic and onions. So, yeah. And I'm going to have this with a cup of tea. And follow that with some water. And that's going to be it for the night, you guys. So, I feel good. I'm fixing to eat dinner. And even before, so dinner, I wasn't starving. So, that's good. So, this is about to be the shiznits. Because babe is killing hers. It's good, babe. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Peace out. So as you guys can see, I love to jam out to Jill Scott and I actually listen to her station every morning. I just love the vibes. It just really does place me in a very good mood for the day. So here you guys just simply see me packing my lunch. Of course, I'm having my morning tea and I couldn't find that I have tea every morning, every day at lunch and like now even at nighttime. So I drink it about almost three to five times in a day. And no, it's not caffeine. It's not caffeinated. A majority of our teas are caffeine free. So on this particular day, I just had some oatmeal, some, looks like some, um, I guess a quinoa from the night before, peanut butter, cinnamon, I had a banana, that's going to be for the oatmeal, and then I have my seasoning, and then I have my sesame garlic, because at work on that particular day, I actually did again saute some kale, I did the mixture, and then I had, um, actually put the quinoa inside of that, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me actually do that at work because we have a full kitchen so if you're wanting like more you know daily up to date you know um updates on my pescatarian lifestyle definitely follow me on my insta snaps my insta stories because i definitely do place everything just about on that um social media platform and you guys like i really do like instagram because it's quick and simple and you can share your whole lifestyle through pictures so here i'm just simply packing my lunch and again see i have the minced garlic and you guys this is really simple i would honestly um, recommend doing this the night before um i didn't again this is like my first week doing this so like today on the 28th i am better prepared because now i'm going into week three of actually doing this and yeah and i'm very excited so um i hope you guys are enjoying this so far
so here's my dinner you guys oh my goodness it was so delicious alexa actually did this dinner and it was phenomenal um yeah you guys so so far i've been loving loving my pescatarian journey um i will have a proper update for you guys but i really just wanted to show this mini vlog of what i actually did eat i'm happy i was actually able to document this for you guys so if you did enjoy this please let me know down below in the comments subscribe give me a thumbs up and i'll see you queens in the next video Mwah. Bye, you guys.